So everybody, how are you all doing? All right, so today, guys, we're going to geek out fully. Without any hesitation, we're going to geek out today really a lot, because some of you may know that I absolutely love virtual machines. If there is enough demand for it, I will make a follow-up video showing you how you can build such a virtual machine. I'm going to show you what my virtual machine looks like and explain all the things that I needed to use in order to get it up and running. However, if you want a full build guide, like fully built such a virtual machine from scratch, let me know in the comment section below and I will work on that video in some time in the future. So right now, what you're looking at is at my current setup. So let me, let, let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is my Windows VM. What I can do is I can resize it fully. Just wanted to show that I'm running it on the Linux, so it's like a full-fledged virtual machine. Now what you will notice is that we have a Windows VM um, that has some things installed like Microsoft Teams, Makeup for Cloud Sync, and Word stuff. So it's only for schoolwork, and I use it for joining online classes by passing through my audio cards. I have two audio cards in my system that I use for general production. Right now, since I'm using them within Linux, I cannot use them within Windows, so it's right now disabled. The main thing to show you is that my CPU the is being detected fully with its full topology, all the cache and everything. What, what's up for that? What, why is it working so perfectly? Now, my disk drive is being hidden. I don't even have an SSD. This is just hidden right now. And I also have, okay, four gigs of memory. No one really checks for memory at all. They just check for the capacity. So giving it four gigs it will mask it perfectly because four gigs is more than enough for a virtual machine. Uh, I just wanted to prove to you that it is actually hidden. So I have a command here prepared that we're gonna pipe into PowerShell, okay? And once I pipe it in and hit enough, will take some time and as you can see it says that our hypervisor if it's present says false which means that our hypervisor therefore one way of detecting if it's running in a virtual machine is effectively disabled it doesn't even know that it is running inside of a virtual machine that's actually the beauty of using virt.io as your virtual machine manager there's actually two types of hypervisors so the way a virtual machine works is that you have the virtual machine itself and it has to communicate with, with your hardware in one way or another. That's what the hypervisor is for. That's actually the crucial piece of software that enables your PC to run virtual machines. It abstracts the guest's machine and the operating system. So they, they run on from the actual hardware. So it doesn't know what the hardware is. But what we want to do to hide it that we're running it inside of an actual computer is that we, you know, we need to like pass through our hardware. In order to do that efficiently at fairly decent speeds is that we have to use something called a type 1 hypervisor instead of a type 2 hypervisor. Type 2 hypervisors are your VMwares and virtual boxes. Those are pieces of software that communicate with with the operating system to do things inside of that virtual machine. Whereas type 1 hypervisors communicate directly with basically the kernel. Those are kernel virtual machines, which Quimo is. Quimo is a kernel virtual machine. What that enables us to do, unlike using VMware or VirtualBox, is that we can actually use this to our advantage and we can pass through pieces of hardware. We can unhook it from our Linux system and pipe it into our Windows virtual machine, which is what I'm doing. I'm passing through my audio cards, not right now because I'm recording, but normally I would pass through my audio cards directly into the virtual machine itself, which is fairly easy to do, especially if you have the right tools installed and such. Now, again, I'm not gonna show you any particular setup. This is just a bit of a showcase video showing you that I've effectively hidden my virtual machine and what I've, what I did and what I changed and such. So we're going to go back into the full screen session over here okay i already showed you that the vm it doesn't know that it's running instead of a vm it thinks that it's running on bare metal in fact we could run a virtual machine inside of here just fine i passed through all four cores of my cpu and it's running just fine i passed through four gigs of ram that's just fine and we have a quote unquote ssd it's easy at the system disk and it has a page file on it so that's perfect and we have a generic ethernet adapter so showing you all of this is it really enough to convince someone that you're 
not running in a virtual machine? Pretty much, pretty much yes, believe it or not. What we can do is I can actually bring up the device manager and what this will do, it will open up the device manager obviously. It doesn't have any PCI devices yet because I didn't pass through a graphics card, but it doesn't matter, does it? So we will go one by one, a CPI based PC, that's fine. Disk drives, why does it say that it's a Patriot SSD? I don't have an SSD. What does it have? What does it say they have a GeForce GTX 1080? I don't have even that GPU in my system. Uh, I don't even have a DVD drive. Why does it say that I have a DVD drive? Let's look a bit further. What's this? A full fledged monitor inside the VM? What is this? <laughs> uh, let's look a bit further. Network adapters. What? We have a full fledged network adapter? Let's dig a bit further. Let's look, look over here. What? What is this? My full CPU is in here? What's going on? What is this heresy? Let me show you something else real quick, okay? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna turn on PowerShell and we're gonna type in uh it was system info. Yep, system info was the command. It will you know check for stuff. But basically uh, what you wanna look for is you'll get this like full ass dump of information on your screen and basically what you're looking at is it you know it looks at what your system manufacturer is and such and um, you can see it's like a standalone workstation, multi-processor free. Uh, I'm the owner of it. Uh, there's my product ID. It doesn't really matter. I can reinstall it just fine. Shows the installation date and it's the boot times. Running just perfectly right here. Uh, it says that my system manufacturer is Squibo, which is kind of funny. You can always change that to hide it even more, but with my latest testing, it's not really necessary to do so, so it doesn't really matter what you do with it. Um, this is hard disk volume 1, which is basically how it determines the boot device. Everything seems to be in order, everything seems to be running perfectly. Uh, it says that in terms of Hyper-V requirements, we do have the ability basically to run a virtual machine inside of our virtual machine. So what else is that to talk about? Well, there is the setup itself, but it's a bit of a lengthy process and um, yeah, that's that. Uh, so in terms of setting it up, Again, if you guys want to see a full-fledged video of showing you like what to do in order to have it set up this exact way, I will make a follow-up video explaining everything if you really want to see that. Again, with all of these packages and everything installed, it really helps out a lot with setting it up properly. I just wanted to make sure I have everything installed, so I installed these two more packages. I don't really have to have these installed that I have over here, but again, we'll cover this in a later video. So if you guys want to see a video where I'll explain how to set up, such a virtual machine make sure to let me know down in the comment section below and what, what what would you want me to talk about specifically but that's pretty much it that's all i have to say if you guys liked today's video make sure to leave a like subscribe and i hope to see all of you beautiful people next time